here at Mukono Zadi, we are leading a youth empowerment project to support youth use narrow technologies to improve their businesses. The youth that are involved in Pigari agribusinesses are having challenges where to find good breeds to rear, how to formulate feeds, and also the issue of waste. So we are now putting together these videos to address some of the issues that we have got from the youth as we've been interacting with them to see how we can help our youth on how to improve their businesses and also to help them be more climate resilient. Richard Irumu are my names and where we are is Chikoko Mixed Farm where we are carrying out production of pigs, poultry and goat husbandry. Uh, pigs can be fed on a number of items but we follow the category of the feedstuffs. We normally feed them on carbohydrate feeds, on vegetables, which can boost their immunity. And then we also use minnows in the ration, different rations, depending on the age group of the what? Of the pig in question. There are a number of reasons as why pigs may not grow compared to the feed that is normally given to them. It can be genetics. If the genetics is not good, even if you feed your pig so much feed, it will not grow. Secondly, uh, the amount of feed and the composition in terms of mixing also determines the composition, how much proteins is, it, is, it, is in there, how much minerals is embedded in the feed that you're giving that pig. And then the ability of the, of, the, of, the, of the animal itself to utilize the feed will also determine the rate of growth of the pig in question. Pigs are fed once a day if you want to get the maximum production out of the pig. Because they are supposed to eat and then most of the time rest, allowing the system to cut out metabolism so that the pigs can utilize the feed very well. The more times you feed your pig, that means that most of the food is going to go as a bypass. It's not going to, to be well utilized in the system. But they are fed according to the productive stage. For example, sows which have produced piglets can be fed around 4 kilograms per day. The gilts, the ones which have not yet produced, female piglets which have, pigs which have not yet produced, can be fed up, up, up to around 2 kilograms. And then the males can be fed only 1 kilogram per day if they are not in service. Because the more you feed it, the more it will put on weight, then the next mating is going to be a problem. The fertility is going to be lowered. Why we discourage feeding of uh, swill, we call it swill, or leftovers from schools, from hotels and whatever. You cannot trust the source. Maybe somebody has come from a, an area which is infected with swine fever. It can easily gain entry into your flocks. Secondly, avoid accidents. Like uh, leftovers, they have a lot of bones in them. And you see, by nature, feeds are greedy. By mistake, it can swallow a bone and can lead to the loss of your pig, which you desire. Uh, when you are mixing your feeds, you have to consider the following ingredients. You have to know the carbohydrate food sources. These ones, if they are fed in big quantities, they lead to accumulation of fats. So you have to balance, strike a balance in between. But you also have to consider that you have to put in some minerals, uh, vitamins for body protection, and then preservatives to preserve the food. And then mixing, the, the feeds should be thoroughly mixed so that they, are, they have an homogeneous mix and then uh, the storage bit of it should be paid attention to. There's no amount of water that is supposed to be paid to the pig, but should be there all the time at, at room temperature. And then it uh, should be cold enough to be utilized by the system because, first of all, it acts as a coolant. It cools the body. Secondly, uh, it transports the nutrients from one, from one, one end to another. It's also enables the pig to excrete to, to remove some of the toxins that have been ingested with the food through urine because they don't have sweat glands. If your pig doesn't have appetite, first of all, you have to observe the pig. Is it on heat if it's a female? If it's not a female, maybe it can be a disease. You, you look at the housing system. Is it heat? 
because also it can bring about uh, restlessness in pigs, okay? After looking at all those alternatives, then you can come up with an alternative. If they are sick, seek for advice from qualified vets or competent vets. And if it's on heat, try to see the stage at which the heat is. If it can be served, then take it for service. In case of heat stress, try to modify your housing so that your pig can be in a comfortable situation. Yeah, pigs don't have a lot of the, a lot a lot of needs as far as housing is concerned. They need a calm environment. The housing should be spacious because their growth will not grow up at your expectation. But they have to be put in well aerated places whereby they can receive enough saturation of air, calm environment, and then heat stress. So make sure that heat is avoided as much as possible. Try to put the the roofs a bit high, around 10 feet and above to ensure that these pigs live in comfort. We know as narrow that we cannot be everywhere. So we are working with local government officers, extension officers. We are working with NGOs and the community-based organizations that are doing extension services. But we also want to encourage using youth to learn from one another. We will look forward to receiving feedback from you for educational purposes and to learn more. We want to request you to like our videos, download them, and subscribe to our TikTok and Twitter handle. Thank you for watching.